Alrighty guys, we are uh, just down the river today doing some trout fishing, something I haven't been doing too much of lately although the trout fishing is really good in the area uh, I just thought today I'd come for a bit of a walk uh, see if we can't get a few, I'm just going to be running little Dyla Prezo Minnow 60 that's one of the new colours there um, just got that on the wilderness rod in the little TD black um, I'm running, one thing that I have changed to lately with the trout fishing for, for this season is um, just running four pounds straight through fluoro and honestly one of the best things I've ever done. I used to do it when I was a young fella and then I went to braid um, when I transitioned across for braid for everything and um, really since those days I've only really used straight through fluoro for a bit of brim fishing here and there but like seriously I hate tying FG knots, I hate tying any braid to braid, uh, braid to lead and knot and there's nothing worse than having to tie a four pound to four pound braid to leader. When you got the uh, four pound straight through, you never have to tie another leader again with this stuff, with the real light stuff. And honestly, I reckon you get a lot more bites. Um, it's easier to cast, I reckon, um, which a lot of people wouldn't think. You'd think the braid, but it just goes through so well. As long as you get yourself a good quality uh, fluorocarbon to use, uh, like a casting one, not a, not a leader material, uh, then it's really handy. So I'll current mine's a dial one. I can't remember what it's called exactly um, But I'll link it down below if you want to check it out, but yeah four pounds straight through for fluoro easy as We're just going for a hike up the river um, Depending on the fishing uh, I'm going to try and keep a couple for a feed. I'm actually batching it this week So I've got a big cod trip coming up, but for the next few nights I'm home alone So I wouldn't mind taking a few trout home for the smoker to cook up, but uh, we probably won't do that till a bit later. I've got a few hours out here, so I um, mean it is warm today. So um, if I am going to keep one or two fish, I will wait till the end of the session and hopefully pick them up at the end before, just before I'm leaving. So I don't have them sitting in the bag that they're too warm. Once I get back to the unit, I've got an esky with some ice in it, so they'll be fine. Anyway, um, yeah, we're just going to start hiking along the river here and see how we go. I uh, know the river. I haven't been here for a while, but. Um, it has been fishing really good and the, the flows look great um, the clarity's the clarity's really good so yeah it should be a little fun fun day fishing let's get into it That's not the start you want. Stinking redfin. Won't be going back. Just had a good trout follow that. That's a pretty good rainbow. Didn't commit, but. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, Jesus. That's a big one. Right up in this rapids. It's actually not that big. It's a nice fish, but... It's going to take me down this rapid. Nice bow. They might be sitting right up in this faster water. Just with the hotness, you know, it's over 30 a day. As it heats up, there's more oxygen, obviously, in those rapids. And they're up there feeding. It's a nice fish. It's gonna take me right down this rapid. It's a 
a bit difficult with the four pound straight through. You can't really go hard on them. Lovely fish. Ooh, there we go. Solid little jack. Crunch that. Because I mean, I how good. I'm just gonna let this one go. It's pretty early, so it's a nice fish for eating, but we'll let him go. He's a nice fish. See you, mate. You'll be fine. Yep. Oh, there's another good one up in there. Same spot as the last one. <laughs> another snipe rainbow exact same spot they're only in a foot of water up in that shallow ripples they must be just sitting there feeding plenty of oxygen hey they're in such good condition at the moment it's crazy how good the trout fishing has come back right fish there. I'll get this one straight back. So I was going to keep a feed. Well I am going to... I'm not going to keep that one because I'm still going to go for a bit and it is hot but that is the perfect size for a feed. There we go. Uh, it's another cracker. Look at that. Well, that's pretty good. Just got a couple of oh, cracking, cracking rainbows out of this rapid behind me. Um, one little jack. I think that might have been a hen. No little hook to give it away, but both in cracking condition. Uh, awesome fish. This is a good fun. You know, it's hot. I've got the bullets starting to come off me. Um, and I've just come through a real stretch of that slower moving, bit deeper stuff. And didn't get a hit. Uh, a couple of redfin, but I think up in this ripples faster own faster flowing water uh, a bit more oxygen in i reckon they're up here feeding and i think that's just been proved with those two nice fish anyway we're going to keep going see if we can get a couple more right -o. this looks awesome bit of depth in this it's got shade and it's got a nice little rapid coming into that back corner there should it definitely be a fish in here let's do it Good cast. And I've snagged up right at the top of the pool. That's pretty much exactly what you don't want to do. Because this good pool is now ruined. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me.
cause another good crowd. Right, we're getting that one back. Here we go. I've got a trout 30 centimetres. Just sitting in front of me. I'll see if I can't get him. Yep. <laughs> Just raced over and grabbed it. <laughs> That was sick. <laughs> just spotted him just sitting there. He was just waiting for stuff to come down this little flow line. As soon as he spotted that lure, he raced over and grabbed it. It's pretty cool. What a bad little fish. Oh, stay there. Yeah. Awesome. That goes to show what a good pair of sunnies can do. Like, I, there's no chance I would have saw that fish if I didn't have the Makos on. I spotted him. Cast out, it's like fly fishing with a hard body. Hey, the purists wouldn't like that one. <laughs> that lure just fell out. So with these, um. With these fish, I'm letting go. I'm trying to. I'm not. First one I pulled up, picked up briefly for a photo. Uh, not for a photo, for a video. And the other one I just let go. But when it's hot, if you're not going to keep them, they're not the most hardy fish shell trout. So try and keep them in as in the water as long as possible. I'll get this one straight back. Still a solid fish. There it goes. And that's basically the perfect release. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Another solid one. Oh, sick. <laughs> Go on, Ariel. Just incredible the trout fishing. Incredible. That's the next cast after that last one that I sight fished. There we go. And he's off. That was a nice fish. <laughs> Just went to turn around to um, say something to you guys on the camera and he's, he's uh, thrown it on a jump. Stinking redfin, eh? Little bubble. Yep. There we go. 
I actually saw that fish rising when I was down there before. I thought it was only a really small fish, but it's a um, nice little pan size. I'm almost ready to keep one. So I'm gonna call it soon, but I think I wanna go for one just a bit bigger than this. So we'll let this guy go. But next good fish that comes into the net will also be sliding into the smoker. I've, I'm gonna keep the one, I think. So if I, you watch, I won't be able to catch one. I'll let this one go and I won't be able to catch another one, but that's fishing. Right, I'll get this one in and get the hooks out. Righto, there he is. Beautiful. There we go. Oh yeah. It's a nice fish. That's dinner if it gets in, come on. Lovely fish. He's having a go. He saw the net. Nice, nice pan sized fish, this one. Oh. Yeah, look at that. That's just a perfect fish to keep. I'm very happy with that. Righto, guys. Here's that fish I'm going to take home. Absolutely perfect size, like over 40 centimetres, nice and thick in great nick, coming out of some clear water. So I think, think it's a hen, she's going to taste unreal and I'm really excited for dinner tonight. So that's going to wrap us up guys, it's been a um, fun little session, I've only been fishing for about two and a half, three hours, got a few k's in the legs. Um, I think some fish rising just over there, um, got a few k's in the legs, got dinner. And um, yeah, caught caught a caught a few nice trout. So that's what it's all about, just getting out here, um, just having a hike, being in nature, and uh, catching a few fish and get a bit of a feed, a bit of a bonus, you know. Um, got the smoker there, love smoking the trout. So that one's going to go down real well. Just like to say thanks for watching. Um, if you like this type of stuff, let us know. You know, it's pretty pretty easy fishing. You just find yourself a nice little river. Um, and you go for a hike along it and throw, like I'm just throwing a basic dialer Prezzo hard body. Most hard bodies will work. I love those ones. They dive to the, to the perfect depth in these shallow streams. Um, so it's not really hard fishing. It's, it's just good fun stuff. You know, go back into drought, you, you, you wouldn't catch a trout out here. Um, but I do, I did grow up on this river, um, cutting my teeth uh, when the trout fish was pretty good. And it's good to see it's come back to what it was back then, um, about 10, 12 years ago. So. Uh, it's a bit of a, a credit to fisheries as well because they've stocked um, a lot of fish in here um, all around the area, uh, all through New South Wales. In fact, um, trout fishing's just going off. Um, so big, big thank you to fisheries and also the heavens for opening up over the last three years. You know, as long as we got that water coming down, uh, all our systems are going to be in in good stead, and the fishing and all types of fishing is going to be good. So hopefully, we keep getting that rain. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys and. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.